Hey kids, thanks for joining us for Grow Elementary Online. We have a lot of stuff planned for today, including the So and So Show. Our memory verse for this month is from Hebrews 11.1. 1. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Our life back for June is faith. Trusting in what you can't see because of what you can't see. And today's bottom line is knowing Jesus changes the way you see others. In a few minutes, we're going to see an interactive story about how Peter goes to the house of Cornelius. But first, get up on your feet. We're going to worship God together. Hello, kids. It's time for another rousing game of Where's Brando? See if you can help me find him. Oh, ha ha! Is Brando underneath this chicken? No, he is not! Is Brando next to this table tennis court? No, he is not! Is Brando underneath this desk? No, he is not!
Is Brando hiding underneath this robot helmet? Mm. No! No, he, he's not. <laughs> where is Brando? Seriously, where's Brando? Yes. Hmm. Oh. Ah! Coconuts, am I right? I'm Brandon. Uh, and I'm John, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. Popsicles. Am I right? Brandon, Brandon what are you doing? Where did, where did you get that popsicle? Oh, Longbeard Carl left it in the studio a couple weeks ago. doing now? Just enjoying the summertime, my friend. Yeah, but you don't need sunscreen inside. I know, but don't you just love the smell of it? It's like the smell of summer. Uh, see? Ugh. Ugh. Does it's, that smell like summer? No, it smells like my Aunt Agatha's beach house. Oh, what's the difference? Hey! What's, what's the, the difference? difference? What's the difference? So, in this game, we're gonna see two photographs that look the same, but really aren't. Yep, and whoever finds what's different first, wins. Oh, 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 oh I'm so gonna win. I wouldn't be too sure. Uh -huh. Let's go. All right. Ah, uh, summer. That's what my arm smells like. Mm -hmm. We look like we're having a good time, John. Yeah, but these photos look exactly the same. I can't see anything that looks... Uh, uh, no. Wait. Got it. On the left picture, there's a sun in the sky, and there are people playing in the water. And on the right picture, it has no sun, and there are no people in the water. Oh! Well, good observation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next photo. Cool, now we're at the pool. I could sure use a dip right now. What about you, John? No time. Focused on the game. Sure. Hey, but don't forget to have fun. It's only a game. Oh, in the first photo, my face is sometimes sad, sometimes angry. In the second photo, my expression is more perplexed and pensive. Oh! Wow. That's a very subtle difference. Yeah, there's nothing subtle about it. Next. Uh, looks like a good day for a picnic. Concentrating. 13, 14, 15. What are you counting? The blades of grass in each picture. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's going to take you all day. 22, 22. Can't we just look for something? Got it! In the right photo, I am smiling slightly wider than in the left photo. What? No, no, zoom in to a close up. See? In this one, I'm like, and in this one, I'm like, like that. they're different. Or, there are clouds in the photo on the left, but no clouds on the right. Ha! Oh, man. And the winner is John. <laughs> oh, yes, best two. Why? Well, it's best two out of three, buddy. So why'd we even do the third photo? You'd already won. I know. I just I love winning. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Bible stories are so fun. I get to tell them to everyone. Hey, 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 hey. Hey guys, um, what's up? Hey Kellen! Yeah, sounded good Kellen! Thanks. Hey, what's the story about? Today's story is about the time when Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, met Cornelius, a commander in the Roman army. And here to help me tell the story are the so-and-so show players! <laughs> I am so and so excited. Can we play the game again? This story happened sometime after Jesus had died and come back to life, which, by the way, is still an amazing thing to think about. 
It was so amazing that many people believed in Jesus just because of what they heard about him. But here's something you may not have known. Many Jesus followers at the time thought you had to be Jewish before you could follow Jesus. In fact, there were laws that said Jewish people and non-Jewish people, or Gentiles, couldn't even hang out together. So our story begins in the home of a Gentile, the Roman commander Cornelius, about three o'clock in the afternoon. I wonder what time it is. I'm guessing three o'clock in the afternoon, huh? Hey, that's right. Cornelius. Whoa, what is it, Lord? Your prayers and gifts to poor people are like offerings to God, and he has remembered you. <sighs> Send men to Joppa and have them bring back a man called Peter. Okay. <laughs> so Cornelius sent three men to Joppa to find Peter. Around noon the next day, Peter was on the roof praying when he got really, really hungry. Lord, you are faithful. I pray that you... Whoa, I'm hungry. I wonder if lunch is ready yet. Whoa. I'm hungrier than I thought I was. Peter had a vision. He saw something like a sheet being let down from heaven. Uh, where are we? I think we're on this guy's roof. Hey, who's that guy? In his vision, Peter saw animals of all kinds in the sheet. They probably weren't talking animals, but they were the kind of animals that would have been against the law for Peter to eat. As Peter watched, he heard a voice. Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. What did that voice say? Kill and eat. Oh. Wait, us? No, Lord, I won't do it. I I've never eaten anything that isn't pure and clean. Do not say anything is not pure that God has made clean. Whose side are you on here, vision voice? The vision was repeated three times. <laughs> Oh, I'm dizzy and confused. Are you going to eat us or not? Then the sheet was immediately taken back up to heaven. Hang on. <laughs> what could this vision mean? At that very moment, the three men Cornelius sent to find Peter arrived. And the next day, Peter went with them to Cornelius' house. You're here. Oh, stand up. I, look, I'm a human being, just like oh. everybody else. I've brought all of my family and all of my friends to hear what you have to say. Go on, say hello, everybody. Hello, Peter! Uh, hello, everyone. It's, it's nice to meet you. Um... You know it's against our law for me, a Jew, to enter the home of a Gentile, or to even be close to one. But God has showed me that I shouldn't say that anyone is unclean. And that, that's why I'm here. I, I realize now that God treats everyone the same. He accepts people from every nation who have respect for him and do what's right. Peter told them all about Jesus. And he told them how anyone who believes in Jesus Jew or Gentile, will be saved. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit came on everyone in the house who heard the message. Yeah. Hallelujah! This is the best day of my life. I forgot to change my costume. Oh, man. Well, surely no one can keep these people from being baptized. This is the best day of my life. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Woo! Oh, you did it! Thank you! Thank you! Not sure baptism worked like that back then, but everyone who believed in Jesus was baptized that day. After staying with Cornelius for a few days, Peter left to spread the word that faith in Jesus wasn't just for people like him, but for everyone. The end. That's a great story, Kellen. Yeah, and well done, so-and-so show players. That was so cool, but, but I'm wondering, uh, would we have ever heard about Jesus if Peter hadn't had that weird vision? That's a really good question. Before that vision, 
Peter thought Jesus was only for people who were the same as him. Yeah, but now we know Jesus came for everyone, even different people like us. Yeah, <laughs> and we are way different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Doesn't matter where you were born or the color of your skin or how different you are. We can put our faith in the same Savior. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Thank you, Kellen. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, bye, Kellen. Man, I really love that. No kidding. The so-and-so show players are the best. Mm -hmm. Reveal the question. Oh, hey, what are some ways people are different from each other? Yeah, it could be the way people look. Oh, like hair color or nostril shape. Mine are crooked. Oh, how mm -hmm. about that? Yeah, or it could be other things too, like uh, what subject in school people are good at or how many brothers and sisters people have? Yeah, the possibilities are pretty much endless. Yeah, so you guys talk it out. What are some ways people are different from each other? And we will see you next time. Yes, I am John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the So and So Show. <laughs> are we different from each other? I, yeah, we're very different. You think so? How? Yeah. I love Jesus. He's so cool. Out the do out of the Bible. It's so cool. I get to tell it after school. Psych at church. It's so cool. Can I finish a minute? Let me dance. <laughs> This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you I know where my hope is. I live it loud. I shout the chorus because I know, oh, you're always for us. And even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you. I will believe, believe. And even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you. I will believe and keep on looking, looking. To you for where I'm going, no, you go there too. I'll keep on looking, keep on looking, looking, looking to you. I'll fix my, I'll fix my eyes. eyes on you.
watching today. Be sure to join us next week as we continue our focus series. Hopefully after watching today, you'll be ready to treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great week.